Well, there's actually people watching, so I guess we'll go straight to the E7. <laughs> I'll come back to 20XX. The unrivaled power. So how's this version of Drayton Wales? It's pretty sweet. Haven't hit any issues. Uh, I've hit some nice. translation mistakes. But that's about it. To be fair, I think everyone will notice basically every translation mistake because every it's basically the only thing people talk about about yeah, this game. Yeah, it's true. I probably wouldn't have really paid much attention to them otherwise. Mm. As long as Archaeozoic Big Hole is gone. It is. Hey Wheels, you've been keeping up with the, uh, speaking of translation, you've been keeping up with the uh, Legends of Localization uh, 5 localization comparison for FF6. I have not. It's, uh, it's something. Yeah? There's, uh... The ones being compared are the SNES version, the GBA version, the fan translation, and a, like, the raw Japanese script shot straight through Google Translate. <laughs> and, of course, like, some on-the-fly localization of the original script. It's, uh... It's really interesting. It ra it makes clear why the GBA version made some of the changes that it did. It makes clear that like some of the strange typos that made it through because well, they had like a month. Yeah. <laughs> well, if that's about all the time he had, it's pretty damn good. Yeah, no, it's a very good translation, and there's a reason that the GBA version is essentially like an attempt to hew as close to it as possible while fixing what can be fixed. Hmm. By the way, in case you're wondering, I am playing this on hard. <laughs> of course. No, I, I expected no different. But that's kind of how I've been playing East since I first imported Oath and Felgana. That's kind of how you've been playing video games since okay, that, I've known you. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about that time that me and that me and Wheels were discussing him attempting to finish a Persona game and like him having set it to like maniac <laughs> mode. No, it was just hard. But yeah, the yeah the end boss of Persona Three is pretty damn hard on hard. It's a really long fight. It's regardless, like, it's like what eight different phases or something crazy like that. It's like 12, because it's the first half of the Terra Arcana. Yeah. Plus, I think it has a move that gives it a shield that takes up, like, 1,500 damage anyway, which just makes it longer. <laughs> hmm. Let's get off this island alive! Here, here! Yeah, my family's still waiting for me. Right. The amount of conversations in these later East games always makes it more obvious that adults mute in a weird way. Yeah. Yeah, it really, really does. It's like, you're you're busy pantomiming, you pull out a sword, they're still talking, you're not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's Monster Hunter. Somewhat. Monster Hunter ECs. Looks like they're here. Monster Hunter Tower Defense. At least you can now jump in these uh, party-based East games as God intended. Yeah, this is pretty great. I gotta say, I didn't think jumping would make that much of a, like that much of a change, but it really does. Like I went back and played uh, Calcutta yesterday, and it was just really weird not to be able to jump. I think Calcutta is uh, coming to PC soon. Yeah, I think July 20 something. I want to say. That's a fine game. It's not amazing by East standards, but it's fine. Yeah, I like Seven a lot better. 
But it's, it's certainly good. Calcutta is a game that very definitely started life as a PSP game and then became an early beta game. Yeah. <laughs> but if you wanted a canonical version of East 4, if you're one of the people that cares about the canonical plot of East, I mean, one, hello, it's good to meet you as well. <laughs> uh, two, uh, it's there for you. You no longer have to play the Tonkin House version. Speaking of, like, the chronology of East, did you know that East 8 takes place before 7? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty confusing to me. I want to say that, like, even the canonical version of 4 takes place before 3, but I can't remember. I looked at the timeline not long ago. I, f I forget what the early one, the order of the early ones was, other than obviously 1 and 2. Yeah. 1 and 2 are basically just a long game. Yeah. Mostly because one or two by itself are both pretty short games. Yeah. Each one speedruns would be interesting. It's like three hours long normally. Yeah. <laughs> this game seems like it's pretty long. Yeah, yeah. What I've heard would agree with that. Not that, not that it's necessarily a bad thing now. Obviously, the series has the depth to support a longer game at this point. Yeah, I mean, like, they've kind of run the gamut as their, uh, you know, gameplay has changed to support different run times. I mean, like, Oath and Felgon is probably at least 12 hours. Yeah. Up next, Wheels plays East 3 Wanderers from East. Please don't make me do that. <laughs> Specifically the Super Nintendo version with oh. the box hitboxes. I think that's one of the like older versions of East games that put me off the series for years. That game, like that game, Wanderers from East is not great in any form. But the SNES version in particular, go look at like if you ever have the time. Go look at how much, like, go look at the hitboxes versus the sprites themselves, because there's some comparisons on the internet, and they don't match at all. <laughs> so, like, what is already not the most amazing platform action game becomes just a miserable, uh, like, exercise just because of the fact, like, oh, well, I guess, uh... I guess that I got hit by that somehow. Mm -hmm. Also, I didn't hit that thing that my sword was three feet deep into. The history... Uh, one of my favorite things is to look at, like, the quality of console Falcom ports based on how absurd the company who ported its name is. <laughs> so you get, like ports that are done by, like, Hudson or Sega, and it's like, oh, yeah, no, that's, that's an actual company that yeah. does actual video games. And then you get company, you get ports by companies with, again, names like Tonkin House. <laughs> and it's like, oh, well, I don't want to ever play this again. <laughs> I want to say Tonkin House did Wanderers from East and East 4 Mask of the Sun. <laughs> Uh, sounds about right. Kelly on the chat says she played East 3 on the Sega Channel back in the day. Oh man, that that's, actually got on the Sega Channel. That's badass. <laughs> that version's probably better than the SNES version, I've never played it. Yeah, marginally, I would say. It's be better in that it's not broken. Yeah, okay, there's that. Yeah, I can go for that. Uh, it's, it's interesting to sort of look at how robust Falcom's catalog was before their severe brain drain following E3. Yeah. Got your Sorcerian. Uh, 
whole bunch of games with very like 80s fantasy video uh, fantasy RPG names. <laughs> Yeah, their games still kind of feel like something, like, slightly misplaced. Displaced out of time. Yeah. Like, I mean, e East 8 obviously looks like something more modern, but then you hear the, the soundtrack, and you feel like you're playing like, something from the 90s or late 80s. That's, that's good to me. That's what I want. Yeah. Video games from that era have, like, two sound channels to work with, so they're much more focused on driving melodies. Stage clear. Sweet. Okay, my brain is now just thinking about, like, an unholy combination of East and Streets of Rage. East of Rage. <laughs> That'd be an interesting crossover. I'd, I would play the hell out of that. <laughs> when did you import Oath and Felgana? Uh, I don't remember if it was before they announced the localization, or, like, slightly before. But I don't remember if it was before or also before, but less I, so. <laughs> yeah, I basically I mean I don't know if I imported it like I heard about the PSP release and then heard about the like the PC patch because that's the version I'm talking about the PC version. Oh yeah, you d you pr you imported like the Chinese version. No, the uh, o East Origin I got the Chinese version. Oh okay. Both in Falcon, I actually ordered from Falcom direct. Wow. Falcom knows who you are. <laughs> I mean, I think I probably uh, downloaded this one before my copy actually arrives, but yes, I have a legit copy. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's yeah. fine. No one can prove any of this. Yeah, but that that was the first version of Oath and Falcon I beat was the PC version. And I did beat it on hard. Up next, you have to stream the forgotten PS2 remakes of East 3 and 4. Oh, God. Which I believe were published by Taito in some fashion. Yeah, I think you're right. But they were under, like, the name Digicube. <laughs> it's, uh... Yes, that's the name. <laughs> uh, Kelly reminded me of the cool, um... With, uh, East 1 and 2 and Felgana and 7, they did that cool, like, thing with the PSP cases where you line them up and it makes uh, a nice little yeah mural type thing yeah one day Falcon like I feel like the inevitable thing that follows up East 8 is a remake of 5 uh, oh yeah San City Calvin. yeah so as far as I've heard because I haven't really played any version of it but as far as I've heard any version of East 5 is bad <laughs> Like, there doesn't really exist any, is the thing. Yeah, Was there a like PS2 the, version of that? PS, there is a PS2 version. Okay. And there's the SNES version, and there's, there's then there's, like, a hard mode SNES version that you had to buy separately. Yeah. But, like, it's... it. You can see how 6 came from it. Yeah. Like, it, it's laying the groundwork for East to be a more in-depth type of game, but they... They don't nail it. They don't nail it. It's a shame. Enjoy the pirate costumes I selected for everyone. Oh, man. Uh, one, so, the one weird thing I saw about this is like, oh god, they did the swimwear DLC. But I actually put it on the characters and I was like, oh, this is like, it's not like bikinis or anything like that. It's It's like authentic more rustic swimmer, I guess I would call it, which is <laughs> It looks like from the 1800s. <laughs> right. <laughs> I appreciate that if they're going to do it, they at least did something a little classier. What I want is a game with, like, swimwear DLC, but it's like everyone's in a diving bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You'd buy that. I'd buy that. that yeah. I'd like to see someone do this 
the swimwear DLC and just have it like the characters are all wearing scuba gear. Also pretty good. They're ready for a deep sea expedition. <laughs> You been doing anything for the uh, JRPG July that RP Gamers wrapped up in? I am this this very game, in fact. This video game. Yes. Also, just continuing the Alliance Live. Good choice. I finally got. I've got the ship now. I've got mostly the full cast, so things are. You can start up working a bit. on your alliances. Yeah. And keeping them alive. <laughs> Keep yourself alive. And Give me all your time and money, honey. You'll survive. Eventually making sure I get Mr. Penguin. The Alliances thing is one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, this was the guy who made... This was written by the guy who made Sui Coden. <laughs> it's a pretty neat world they set up, so... Yeah. It See. makes you hate water. Yep. Yes, it's, it certainly does. I've been working on my Yakuza backlog because I'm going to suddenly have two games dropped onto it. Nice. Yeah, I need to go back and finish Zero. Pro probably after I finish God of War or when I need a break from God of War, I'm probably going to fire that back up. It really doesn't help that I have this idiotic insistence of i got to do all the sub-stories in any given game. <laughs> and it's like, oh! So I'm like... 50 sub stories into Kiwami. Huh. And it's just like. It's fine. I've done all of the ones that are like. Here's. Rock, paper, scissors augmented with boobs and bugs. <laughs> and. What's the other one that takes. that you? Oh, the. The freaking. Uh. Like, slot cars. <laughs> you have to do all of those. There's a lot of those. Person in chat, who I only know their username. Oh, that's uh, Ke Kelly. Okay. RP Gamer uh, staff. Yeah, it, it seemed like it was someone you knew, so I, but I, I am bad with names, so I can only <laughs> read the username. But yeah, saying that. Uh, let's see, needs to finish Alliance Live. Uh, but paused it to play Strange Journey Redux. I like Strange Journey, but I don't... I don't think that I have it in me to play Strange Journey again. Yeah, I had a, I had a really time, really hard time. Like, I was excited to play, pick that up, and I had a really hard time just, like, getting started. It's like, It's just, got a long opening. Yeah. And then, like, once it's done having a long opening, it's just really hard. Yeah. And like, once you get to like those later sectors, it's just like, oh, I'm, there's there's too much here. Yeah, and I mean, plus I'm trying to be a little more focused on like one or two games at a time, so I'm gonna finish Alliance Alive. Attention death that gaming disorder is real. Yeah, I well, I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to like, if I'm I'm not I'm not complaining, dude. Yeah. Like, I, I love the Yakuza series, and I talked about having a multi-game Yakuza yeah. backlog. But I'm trying to do like instead of multiple RPGs at once, do some s clear out my backlog of like shorter games and stuff like that. So kind of what I've been playing on the side is uh, Sushido. Oh yeah. On the on the 3DS, not the Switch version. And that game is pretty I've heard fun. That. Yeah, it's uh, it's different. An original Nintendo IP that people will not remember the next time they're complaining Nintendo doesn't make new IPs. Yeah. And it's it's not it's like super RPG intensive, but enough that um, I think it keeps my attention more than a typical puzzle game. There's there's a progression system, and that's enough to sort of yeah keep you coming back. And I mean it's it's I don't want to say it's Pokemon-ish, but it's kind of because you get sushi sprites that give you different abilities, and I'm sure. So when does it cross over with get, Yokai Watch? To, um, not soon enough. Sushi dream. <laughs> um, uh, we'll probably get that crossover once we get um, Yokei Watch 3 over here in about four years. 
at the current pace. Listen, you should be you should be like grateful that they're doing that. They oh, seem I... determined to bring over these games. I am. I uh, you know I. I appreciate it. I just the pace is bizarre to me. <laughs> I'm just baffled that they like just ancillary products are not allowed to stay like to not come over. It's like, well, it's time to like six months later bring over the third version of Yokai Watch Two. Yeah, what what is the deal with that? I don't I don't understand. I was gonna say, you, uh, do you have strong opinions on Sushido on 3DS or Switch, or is 3DS just the version you happen to grab? Uh, it's... I mean, I have a giant bin full of Switch games at this point. Uh, so... so it was a... Well, this is this is the way to feel less guilty about buying this game. Yeah. Well, that, and it's like, I will actually play this game on 3DS, whereas if it's on Switch, it's not going to be played right now. I've got so much other things to do. Yeah, I mean, like, I've got this, I got The Lost Child, which I'm also going to be playing a little bit this month, and Octopath, and Shining Resonance. Oh, you bought that. I thought you I thought you were pissed at it. Uh, pissed. First one, then the other. <laughs> uh, pissed, yes, but I want to support Sega bringing... I'd like to support Sega bringing over their RPGs. That's why you have to buy all these Yakuza games. Yeah, exactly. Like, I have all the recent Yakuza games, and I'm still trying to finish a zero, so... Don't worry, they'll, they'll, they're they not going anywhere. And plus, it's got a nice little metal case if you get the launch edition, so... Yeah. Which may be the only edition that ever comes out. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know that for sure. So... For Re Resonance Refrain? Uh, Which yeah. version did you grab, by the way? Switch. Oh, so there's a swi a metal case for Switch. I don't see many of those. It's yeah, they. It's just like um. It's not like a steel book. It's just like a metal outer case. Uh, I think they did that for all the versions. But yeah, I don't think a I've metal really, exoskeleton. I haven't really seen that for a, like a Switch game. Yeah, I've never seen a steel book Switch game, so I'm curious. I want to see one. There is. There's uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. If you got the collector's edition, which I did. I did book. not have the cash for that. Yeah, and uh, Limited Run Games are doing some steel books as well. Huh. I suppose that makes sense given their raison d'etre. Nice. Oh, cool. Kelly actually beat Lost Child. Seems like a pretty fun game. Nice. Mostly what interested me was, oh, from the guys that made El Shaddai. That sounds fun. That's mostly what turned me away. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> we we've talked about snobbery enough on the podcast. Yeah, it's true. But will the lost child sell me my next pair? you <laughs> I I'm looking at the stream and it's just like you jumping, jumping and falling off a cliff. <laughs> but uh, but will the lost child sell me my next pair of jeans? Um, probably not. Wow, well, well, that's a shame. Apparently the female character Laxa here is annoyed that I'm using her to do all the climbing here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. She moves faster, you gotta do it. Yeah, this is a nice thing about this game, there's like some random dialogue that kind of pops up as you're exploring. Yeah, I don't remember if Four Hat, if Kelketa had anything like that, I don't feel like it did. I don't think so, but it's been a while since I played a lot of it. Yeah, it makes the game feel more lively. This and Calcutta both seem to have, like, this... ...desire to make the environment feel more like Untamed Wilderness. Yeah. Which is an interesting idea. I like it. Uh, I like Good the aesthetic choice. I like this one a lot. Like, I don't know if you eventually find like people that have been on this island the whole time or whatnot, but it definitely feels very deserted. Mm -hmm. I will be back in just half a minute. Sure.
Okay, I'm back. You'll never guess what I just found in a treasure chest. What? An omelette recipe. Nice! <laughs> That's what I want when I get treasure. That's the treasure you can take with you. Damn straight. Oh, shh. Oh, great. It's one of the giant crabs I haven't been able to kill as of yet. <laughs> Getting wrecked by crab. The wheels, sorry. Oh great, my super attack took maybe half its life off. Super! They usually effect that you ex expect that, that to like kill a somewhat regular enemy. Nah. Not when you're level chump. Woohoo! Sparked some new skills. Oh, sparking's on this? Yep. Nice. I like that uh, this big character here is literally fighting with like a broken anchor. <laughs> huh. I was thinking it was a pickaxe, but nope, no. It, it's just an anchor. <laughs> Listen, you hit something in the head with an anchor, it'll probably die. It's true. There are, there are some pretty funny dialogue moments in this game where it kind of references the fact that Adol always ends up on fucking crashed ships. <laughs> wow. I thought were pretty funny. Stream is no longer PG. Oh yeah, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> we're ruined. We yeah. ruined our humor. This guy with the the anchor here at one point is like, oh, you have like a bad relationship with the sea or something like that. So I just tweeted it's out. True, a, he does. I tweeted out a picture of that <laughs> with just the line. You could say that, yeah. 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 I mean, you wouldn't be wrong to have claimed that. I think you've played as Adol the least out of the three characters so far. Yeah, I like messing around with the other characters. Played enough Adol in other games. That's why you gotta go play East Origin again. Yeah, it's a good game. I'm glad that one finally ended up on consoles. Yeah. I just put it on every other console. Yeah. Simple. Give me East Origin on Xbox One. Actually, I think it came to Xbox One. Yeah, I think it might have. Which is cool, I guess. But it's not on Switch, so... Yeah, that's true. Give me all the East on Switch. Every Pretty single much. one. Oh, hell yeah. Enhanced for Xbox One X. Finally. No! Did you fall into a cliff? 
I... Not fall into a cliff, fall off a cliff. Yes, I did. It's your fault. What did you, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> I thought I was going to gracefully jump over the pit. <laughs> I, just, I don't know why you would think that based on your fairly consistent jump. I almost made it. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades wheels. I may have made a poor decision here. Trying to climb faster and only making this take longer. going on in Discord while I'm cl busy climbing. Nope. No! Oh! Uh, uh, uh. This is going great. No, alright. Wait for it. Record of a human disaster. No, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. So what is your objective at this stage? Uh, find more survivors from said crash ship. Fair enough. They probably need some help if they haven't all already been eaten. Yeah. So that would also be reasonable. And some of which will be other party members, so that's always fun. Yeah. And I don't actually know if you get to use, like, Dogie as a party member in this game. Aw, oh, please bring Dogie back. Right now he's just, like, village manager, essentially. Get a new, get an actual village manager so you can have Dogie in the party. Have him, give him the special ability to crash through breakable walls. Smashy smashy. Dogie breaking a wall is important. Save Crystal. Might be near a boss, so I'm gonna save. Seems reasonable. And the music stopped. Okay. It's not good. Giant ominous log bridge. What could possibly break it? Nothing. What could possibly go wrong? Um. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kristen, there's something in front of us. Hmm. Well, that's weird. What's up? Uh, you'll see in a second. That's concerning. Yep. Yeah, concerning is uh, about accurate. <laughs> right. huh. Yeah. I can't believe you're going to kill this majestic chameleon. Well, it's probably going to kill me at least once, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, do I have to do this whole fight on this fucking log? Oh, language, right. <laughs> RP Gamer Stream. Ah! Log off. I can't believe, can't believe you're not reacting to my very good internet joke. What'd you say? 
log off. Oh. Oh, sweet Christmas. Good job, Luke Cage. <laughs> I'm Who is screaming, log off at my house. Show yourself, coward. I will never log off. I am doing a tremendously bad job at dodging. I'm shocked. It's never happened before. Oh, right. I can jump. Right. Right. Sliding, sliding, jumping, jumping. Yeah, wow, you just sort of... Gave up. <laughs> if you were intending to dodge it, you would dodge towards it so that you aren't sitting in its hitbox for so long. Okay, they're all dead. <sighs> so what happens to party members' HP if they're getting hit while you're not controlling them? I don't think it goes down, but don't quote me on that. I'll monitor their health bars and figure this out. Well, you just got clowned and they seem fine. <laughs> you sure you're high enough level for this? Pretty sure. No, nope, it's level 14. I am not. <laughs> oh, so I back. Hello. I also forgot to re go refill my uh, potion supply, so I probably need to do that. Strictly speaking, this may have been what is known to experts as a tactical miscalculation. As the experts call it, anyway. Yes. Definitely not booting up Lunar Legend. What? To Why? Continue my, to continue my long, slow process of comparing every version of Lunar 1. Oh, that's right, I forgot you were doing that. Because I'm a psychopath. Listen, I'm sure someday someone will want to read that if I decide to take all of these notes and turn them into something. Uh-oh, stuff is happening. Oh, finally, stuff Fright happens. Frightening things are happening. It's angry. It's okay, you're dead anyway. You're not wrong. Alright, I need to go. Make a trip back to the town and get some stuff. Coward. Oh. My turn now. Wee, fast travel is the best. I care too much about the material changes made to each version of Lunar One. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go collect some fruit real quick. For the record, I have played Lunar Legend in the past, and I have played basically every other version, but I'm make, taking notes to compare all four of the primary versions, because some of the changes are nearly inexplicable, and a lot of them, like, it can be kind of hard to find information on what they actually changed between all of them. <laughs> like, nothing's as strange as going from Silver Star to Silver Star Story, because it's like, oh... In the last act, these games completely diverge. They don't 
they are com they don't even come to the same neighborhood. But uh like with some of the others it's just there's a lot of strange like I don't I don't know why this is here like I remember seeing a claim that Lunar Legend like gives actual names to some of the dragons huh. that none of the other versions do and it's like I don't remember that but it's been like 15 years so It's all the little details. Like, well, this game's been remade a lot of times, and they've done a lot of things to it while they're doing it. Glad they keep that little uh what do you call it? The little uh you got something musical thing from the first East games. Those are important musical things, even though I just replaced one with the frickin' Metroid one. <laughs> I don't I don't know what you're talking about, person in chat who is bringing up a game that definitely isn't real. Dragon Song? What's that? No, no don't speak its name. Oh, is that the Lunar on DS? Dragon Song DS? I get it. I get things. Please, just go <laughs> straight to hell. <laughs> it's just like dream, do dream Drop Distance. Except one of the games is good. That's true. In Japan it was Lunar Genesis, because you see, it took place 4,000 years before Silver Star, and oh no, I'm summoning it back into existence. <laughs> Yay, our little village now has beds. Woo! Now you can nap. Can't believe they made Eastcraft. Village has beds, but it's only two of them, so... Everyone else... It's too bad. I love to sleep on the cave ground. It's all I've ever wanted in life. When are you gonna unlock Samus? She's in this, right? I don't think so. We're gonna switch wow. everyone to their swimwear because why not? Well, apparently Sahad does not have swimwear. His life is swimwear. Check. I forgot how I even got to the DLC. Well, no, I'm just the Dragon Song discussion. It keeps coming. My favorite thing about Dragon Song is the part early in the game where you get cursed, so your character who's supposed to 
sort of carry the whole party, just can't anymore because he can only do one attack now. <laughs> also, congrats, at the same time my weapon broke, arbitrarily. <laughs> and I threw the game away. Nice. Not literally, I just I just threw it out of my sight. It was gone. No more Dragon Song. The other best part was uh, re was reading up on the plot later on, like Wikipedia, and it's like, oh, this is this is just uh, Silver Star story with a racism subplot. <laughs> Finally, hmm. I think I was happier when the Beast People were just sort of like a thing that was existed in the background and that no one commented on. DLC in this game, which you have to unlock even though it comes with all of it. Go back to the title screen real quick. Nope, not there. I don't know. Apparently there's a RPG backtrack about Dragon Song that Kelly got to complain on that you should go check out. Oh man. Sounds like good therapy. Yeah. The only issue is that I, I need to yell about it personally, so I'm just gonna also have to wait until someone brings <laughs> it up on Q and A quest. Then then I will have my own personal time to heal. But I'll probably go look that up. Ah, uh, here it is. Oh man, I love Lunar 2. I, I did some comparisons between Sega CD Lunar 2 and PS1 Lunar 2, but those few much closer together than Sega CD Lunar 1 and PS1 Lunar 1, so it was there was less to point out. No, no tropical swimwear for Sahad. Terrible. Can't believe he's dead. Poor guy. But... We did get it. Where is it? There we go. Oh, heavens. What? It's nothing bad. It's just old school. Finally. Original at all. Do not steal. <laughs>
Personally doubting your capacity to finish the boss fight. Wow. Ye of little face. Oh god, I fell down. <laughs> oh, I see. I who have learned much. <laughs> I see, if you fall off the log, he gets really freaking angry. Good job. And I'm not sure there's a way to get back up. Well, you've got more places to dodge now. Yeah, I was gonna say. I kind of like this better. On the other hand, like, I think that's kind of the point. Like, you get your choice of a more aggressive, different attack pattern with more area to dodge it. Speedrun straps. I saw people complaining on Twitter that they had wished East 8 had been more like Oath and not like East sla uh, like 7 slash Calcutta. So, um, I mean, I'm, get over I'm, it? I'm glad that <laughs> Calcom. I don't think they really had a lot they could continue to do with the Oath slash, uh, you know, 6 and Origin formula. They'd kind of pushed that formula as far as it was going to go. I'm glad that they decided that East was due for a refresh. Yeah. And I think that with each game, they're doing more with this party-based formula. Uh, I think as a fan of the series, you should want them to try and do new things. It's not always going to be what you want, but uh, I'd rather they try new stuff instead of just making endless Oath and Felganas. As much as I like Oath and Felgana, and I would certainly play more of those games, uh, I'd rather, I'd rather they move the series forward and keep it something relevant instead of just hashing out a bunch of the same. I'm glad that they're continuing to do different things with the formula. It's kind of their premier action RPG. Yep. Like they, they still have other ones, kind of, every so often, but East is the one that like I feel like they'll keep doing forever. Yeah. Also, ye of little faith. Listen, when have I? When have you earned that faith? Uh, okay, that's true, but <laughs> also I'm not usually playing an East game. I mean, I've watched you die repeatedly on East games in the past. Leave it to me. Have you? When did when did that happen? I swear that's happened at least once. It probably has. <laughs> Oh, this, oh, you know what? I I think I streamed, like, Oath and Felgana trying Nightmare Mode I thought at some it was, point. I thought it was, like, Ark of Nepishtim, maybe, but... Uh, maybe that, as well. Point is, like, you, you've streamed one in the past at an unreasonable difficulty level. <laughs> and I also... Uh, I also agree with the point that this formula is a little more versatile. There's more you can do with it. Yeah. Especially if you're gonna do, um, if you're gonna do heavier story base ease, which I'm cool with because I think there's a lot of lore and stuff that they've built it's up. It's also just becoming Falcom's bread and butter at this stage. Yeah, yeah, but I think obviously doing like a solo adult game does not really work for those heavier story base games. So it's better to have yeah. party members that actually talk. And I'm fine with sticking to him not talking. I think. You know, it's kind of just a staple for the series now. Just At like this point, it's kind of charming. Yeah, <laughs> just like uh, Link in the Zelda games. I love the amount of dialogue options that they gave Link in Skyward Sword. I don't think they'll ever give him that many options again. Yeah, but you got a lot of options that were just like, wow, Link is just really, really lazy, <laughs> like indescribably, insufferably lazy.
you know what? One random interesting thing I noticed about this game. So, I said before this takes place before 7, right? Yeah. So, presumably it's some shortly after 6. And I'm pretty sure you have a sword like for the early f in the early fight on the ship. And I'm pretty sure it's the sword from 6. If that would make sense as like a way to try to explain to anyone who was in the series like, yes, this is just after 6. Yeah. It's a nice detail to have in there. Like I have I've never actually completed 6, so I don't know if he leaves that island with the sword, but it looked like it had like the uh you know, he gets like three different elemental powers in that game. It looked like it had like yeah. three gem thingies on there. Man, I hope we get uh, English announcements for Cold Steel 3 and 4 sometime soon. That would be great. Especially now that I've gone back to playing some Cold Steel. Now that uh, fans have brought forth both of the Legend of Heroes 7 games. Yeah. So there's only two of those? It's not like, uh... Yeah, that's just... Zero no Kisaki and Ao no Kisaki. Okay. Also, if they do bring over Cold Steel 4, I want them to very specifically not change its Japanese subtitle. Which is? Trails of Cold Steel 4, The End of Saga. <laughs> Can't believe that when you finish that game, it remotely kills Akitoshi Kawatsu. <laughs> That's funny. Apparently Kelly beat 6 on... E6 on PSP. Major props. For yeah, I played that the version. Major props for putting up the loading times than that. I've heard that they're a lot better if you uh, if you rip the UMD to the memory stick via illicit means. They are, in fact. Nearly <laughs> broke my fucking <laughs> fetching. Yeah, that's also. Yeah. A concern. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I nearly gave myself like carpal tunnel finishing Ultimate Felgana on PC. I was using like a Xbox pad. It wasn't I, that bad. I was playing a keyboard. Why? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just just. I have no excuse. <laughs> I don't. It was a while ago. I don't know if I had like a controller to plug into it, or maybe I may have just been playing on a laptop and um didn't feel like plugging controller, I don't remember. But yeah, did totally on keyboard. All the trails of Cold Steel games are getting localized into traditional Chinese. Oh way. boy. Which is good for them, bad for us, hey, because, well, not really yeah. bad for us, but neutral for us. Apparently, Sony itself is localizing them into Chinese. Hmm. And you, Blondie, that rapier's got a flashy hilt. Well, this lady's insulting all our terrible weapons. You love terrible weapons. Oh, I can't wait to see what she says about the anchor. Did she just refer to. <laughs> Did she just refer to that orange-haired girl as Blondie? I think so. That's odd. Man, I've never even used a PSP 1000. I jumped onto that platform with the 2000. Same. The original version of the Vita was a rude awakening after using a 2000. That's also kind of a brick, but it's also a brick you're not allowed to hold on in specific ways, or it yeah. causes video games to do strange things. <laughs> Rear touchpad on a system. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Don't you love the interactions between having to... All those games that require you to pinch the system because they want you to eat both the front and rear touchpad in the same place. I just hate anything that uses it because inevitably I'm always going to accidentally be putting my fingers on the back and making weird things happen. I'm still a really big fan of Gravity Rush mapping a core command to that pinch activation. <laughs> it just didn't have enough buttons, man. It was, it was, not, a good, it was not a good compromise. I guess. The name's Kathleen. 
Oh man, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> uh. Yay, a weaponsmith. Did you happen to find my E6 sword that fell in the ocean? No. <laughs> Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. Boy, they just went ahead and built a smithy like it was nothing. I see they How did you build an anvil? Come on! <laughs> Less than ideal, even though you guys somehow built an actual anvil. Listen, you get enough metal together and you get enough heat together, you're fine. You're golden. Alright, okay. You're Persona 4 Golden. Speaking of Persona 4 Golden, where the hell's my damn Persona 5 on Switch? Persona 5 Crimson, do it, cowards! <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go ahead and actually finish it on PS4. I I just. I just want to be able to play it again. I don't have time to play it on PS4. I'm sorry, it's a hundred hours long. Yay, reforge! There's, there's things that I could already consider as like, oh, what do we do for a bonus confidant? There's already those. Just, just do it. What should I upgrade? Atlas isn't listening, but they should be. Mm. Oh, look at this weapon upgrade for Sahad, upgrading his heavy anchor. Strength plus 22, defense minus 10. What if you were just, you know, completely incapable of defending yourself because your anchor is just too heavy? Leave it to me. Let's see, reforging short sword into long sword. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. If we're being honest. So what's the next upgrade? Extra long sword? Uh, this is making me think of Sui Coden. Yeah, that's a good point. But very specifically of Gon from Sui Coden? <laughs> you remember his weapon? Uh, no. Let me see if I can find it. I want to make sure that I do not screw up this, uh... The exact name of his very good swords. Oh man, things are happening in the World Cup of Footballs. Oh, well, I'm glad that I don't care. <laughs> uh, Persona 5 Crimson, that's, yeah. Just do it. Just that's, a good, it. that's a good point, Kelly. Where is Persona Q2? Uh, that that was announced, which yeah. is what makes it weirder. I don't think it even has a release date in Japan, but I believe it's still slated to come to the 3DS. It is. For the record, Gon's sword upgrade tree in Suicoden One is starts with sword, then when sufficiently upgraded, cool sword. Then, when fully upgraded, very neat sword. Very neat sword. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's just great. It, ma it makes few promises. Gon is very Gon is very good. I believe half of his dialogue in the localized version is just "Hooray!" <laughs> How can I help you today? All right. How can I help you today? 
Leave it to me. Let's reforge this rapier into a foil. Oh man, what what do you think the heavy anchor is going to be reforged into? Let's take some bets. Heavier anchor. Maybe just a pickaxe? Like you thought it was? Let's see. We're learning. Iron knocker. Okay, well. I think we I think the house wins. Uh, I think we all pay into the pot now. Okay. I, I don't know if it's possible to make the Shin Megami Tensei element system work with balancing against the Etrian Odyssey gameplay style, but I mean, at least they now have less instant death spells to worry about. Yeah. If they use the Persona 5 elements, they can at least, like, hide frickin' Hama and Mudo and just give Eha and Koha. That sure was fun. Just like, what's the ideal party in uh, Persona Q? Well, who has death skills? Leave it to me. Because all of them, basically. Complete. Yeah, yeah. Leave it to me. Whew, it's complete. Always appreciated that, like Persona Four Golden, tried to rebalance Naoto to make her less terrible. Because by the time you get her, there's no point in using any of those skills. Mm -hmm. So she just got everything, and then right. Persona Q was just like, no, it, let's just make it so that the death skills are completely busted. I am curious, like, what casts are intended to be involved in Q2, since the only thing we've seen is, like, the cutesified version of the Phantom Thieves logo, which, you know, obviously Persona 5 was going to be in there. We just right. don't know who, uh, it's go who else is going to be there. Bring in the casts of Persona 2 Parts 1 and 2. It will sell to an audience of me and three other people. <laughs> Adel's pirate uniform is way cooler than this classic uniform, so <laughs> switch it up again. I <sighs> should replay the Persona 2 duology. Yeah. I need to need to do that as well. Replay it or just play it? Play it in general, yeah. Okay. And not replay one, because meh. I finished one, and I don't... I like... I would recommend reading its plot at some stage. I wouldn't really recommend playing it. Kelly says, it will sell to an abundance of the three of us in this chat slash stream. <laughs> Listen, I know at least two other people that might be interested in such a prospect. I will buy two copies if that helps. Well, that counts one of the other people. <laughs> one of my other people was Wheels buying a second copy. Oh, boy. Listen, I just, I just need, I just need more people talking, sitting around talking to Baofu. That's important to me.
Yeah, I was deeply depressed that uh, Persona 2 uh, Eternal Punishment Portable did not come to come to the West. I wasn't surprised, but I was depressed. Yeah. <laughs> At least we got it as a, uh, a classic. Yeah, we got the PS1 classic, so we've got like... We don't have a perfect localization of Persona 2, but we've got localizations, and that's what's going to have to be enough. Although we did miss out on the bonus scenario that they included with Eternal Punishment Portable, which I think someone has translated the text to, even if they've never hacked the game. Which I've heard is very messy under the hood. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, and then we're going to switch it up with a little 20XX. Oh man, I can mock your roguelike skills. Uh, yes, this will probably be a short break from East. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's... Okay. Are you done? Are you done clickety clacking? What? Your your headset clickety clacked for. Oh yeah. Long. Sorry. All right. Let's see how horribly this goes. You know? Did you know that I did not know this game was like a road light? Until what? yeah, before um, the Switch version was announced, I did. I, I thought it was like some weird Minecraft Mega Man thing or something, where you build levels or something. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I guess I didn't look into it enough. Right. I will pick normal difficulty. I can't believe what a coward. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, yeah. That two who roguelike. I think that actually comes out next week, Kelly. You have time. Oh, so little time. I forgot about that. 
I wouldn't have minded picking up Shining and uh, Octopath, but the finances didn't work out, so... They'll still be there one day. So I'm guessing the levels in this game have a lot of pitfalls? Uh, there, there's a lot of just, like, essentially the game is sort of snap... Like, there's designed level sections that connect to each other. Also, make sure to use your dash. <laughs> you didn't see that? Wow. <laughs> I said you didn't see that. It's too late, I saw it. I had not yet seen it, but I did see it eventually. Got some nice chips, some nice soul Doritos. Yeah, I'm not sure how, like, how the summer became, like, this time for, like, let's let's put out our JRPGs. Why not? Yeah, all of them. All of them. What if? And then we've got, uh, Valkyria Chronicles at the end of the summer. In September? Yep. I'm still just really furious that Sega is targeting me in particular and just being, what if two Yakuza games in six weeks? <laughs> who could who could not need that? Oh yeah, when is Kiwami 2 coming out? That's very soon. It's August right? 28th. Okay. August 28th, and then uh, no, no, Ooh. and then October 2nd is Fist of the North Star: Lost Paradise. Yeah. Oh, that one. What, falling in a pit is an insta-death? You should be glad that they gave you that mercy. I am kinda get glad. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, yeah, Lost Paradise is... Uh, is October 2nd, and it's just like... Guys, I'm really glad we're getting both of these and so, in such a timely fashion, but also, please... I think I'm gonna die. Yep. I mean, that was inevitable. <laughs> oh good, I, I don't actually die because it's this glory zone thing, I guess. Glory is not yours to take. Oh, it won't let me retry it. Okay, fine. You gotta have the guts to get the glory. Dang, it's tough staying hungry. Are you doing three life mode wheels? Nope. That's for suckers. Oh. Wow. That's for people who win things. <laughs> it's also true. What's your favorite Mega Man game, Wales? X. Good. Used to I be was about to... Used to I be three, to... but recent years have taught me otherwise. I was about to say, and why is it X, but thought better of it, but I was right! Yeah. <laughs> you are too poor! Oh no! I want, got more, I want more hit points. Too bad, buddy. Alright, let's boss it up. Extreme poverty. <laughs> Curve! Savage Skylord. Boomer, Kuwanger. Wheel Gator. Oh. The best Mega Man boss. Jet Stingray. Oh, yeah, that's right. What am I saying? Mega Man X2 is my favorite Mega Man. Freaking criminal. X does have the best soundtrack. Just thinking about, uh... My favorite, uh... Bad Maverick names. Big fan of Tornado Tunyon. <laughs> Bamboo Pandemonium is also pretty good. Well 
Hold on, take the boss's power. Or something else. I will. <laughs> no. Okay, I will take my extremely slow moving laser. Thank you. Finally, Gemini laser. Save and quit? What? You can stop him in, mi in mid run. No. Infinity Maginian is also a pretty good name. See, they're getting. Kelly says they're getting rid of the the Guns and Roses names for the Mega Man X collections. Yeah, that hurts me. Like that takes them from being like funny crazy to just like boring bad, like boring crazy. Yeah. Whatever. I'm trying to remember. Like the manual used the non Guns and Roses name, but I don't remember what they were. In conclusion, more more Duff McWayland. Yes, please. Even if that stage sucks. You know what? Slow moving laser is pretty alright. Finally, the dignity of Mega Man has been returned because Duff McWayland has been renamed to Tidal Whale. Ugh. That's pretty boring. That's a very boring name. That's that's not even a good pun. It's not even in anything. It's just a just a name. It's a pun. Tidal wave, what? tidal whale. Get it? Oh, oh, <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> the only one that I like better is Burn Dino Rex. Which is, you know, just just a crazier sounding name. But yeah, get used to Crescent Grizzly, Tidal Whale, Volt Kraken, Shining Firefly, Spike Rose Red, Burn Dino Rex, Spiral Pegasus, and Dark Necrobat. Dark Necrobat? Yes. Eh. Dark Bed. I mean, Wheel Gator is all that matters, as long as he's in the game under that name. Well, he's in Legacy Collection 1, so he's not in the game. <laughs> so is that actually going to be... Do you, does anyone know if that's actually going to be on, like, a, a single Switch cart, two Switch carts, or... I believe it's known to be, like, a Switch cart and a download code. Again? Ugh. Oh, well. Yeah, that's alright. You got a big SD card. Yeah, I'm almost out of space, though. That's wow. Right. Well, Wolfenstein takes up 22 gigs, so... Yeah. Love that. Love that, I, Wolfenstein. And I switched to the digital version of Splatoon 2, so that's eating up extra space. I can't believe you just let that pun slide. What? Which one? I switched. <laughs> uh, Are you trying to kill yourself now? No, I'm actually... What the... What? What? Huh? Upside down? Yeah, that's, 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 that's the gimmick red. of these things. Uh, that's pretty red. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know why I got the Rotten Walls and Gromit theme going in my head. Please bring back Grizzly Slash. Give me a toggle that lets me have Grizzly Slash. Oh, I see. Never mind. Ignore me, please. I'm gonna die. I appreciate that one of the one of the car one of the Mavericks, and I want to say like ah! rip you. One of the Mavericks, and I want to say X Six is just named Metal Shark Player, <laughs> which is a confusing name because it makes me imagine like. What? It's like an MP3 player, but it just plays sharks. I don't understand. It plays sharks, you know, as you do. On the bright side, I'm very excited for the Switch to allow me to ha hear part of the ground! 
<laughs> in in public, just on the train. Burn to the ground. Please burn to ground. All right, so we'll get back to the Lego The Incredibles now. Wait, what? That's not even an RPG. Yeah, I know. I'm not not even kind of an RPG. It's tempted to load up Wolfenstein, but that's not even slightly kindly kind of an RPG. It's got good world building. Yeah. It probably has RPGs in it at some point. It's got that weird arcade game where you play as you play a messed up version of Wolfenstein 3D, where BJ Blazkowicz is the villain. Uh, what's that called again? I don't remember what they called uh. it. Your power is significantly increased. Who knows what destruction you'll reap now. <laughs> And that reminds me of my favorite, like, bad translation message I've ever gotten in a video game. I, uh... If you somehow manage to level up twice in a single battle... ...in Star Ocean 2... ...the end of battle message will be, character has two increased. Huh? That's pretty funny. Not sure what you're saying. Uh, I don't know either. I was going straight for I Am Impact from Mystical Ninja Star and going on. Very important game. Not really an RPG, but very important. Mm -hmm. So what comes out this fall? Like, Yakuza's the thing that's been on my brain, so I don't know anything else that comes out in the fall. Um... I think... Got some weird lag I'm from my Elgato here. Yeah, I've been seeing that. Um... What's I gonna say? Um... Valkyria Chronicles, obviously. That's important. And nothing else is popping into my brain at the moment. Oh, Spider-Man! Oh, Spider-Man! That's important. That is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Do, 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 do. And he's fine. Catch your feet, just like my lookout. Here comes Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing on a thread? 
take a look over him. Okay. Here comes the Spider Man. Oh, Dragon Quest Eleven. Thank you, Kelly. Oh, that that's one, important. That one's slightly important. <laughs> that's super important, but I just like I know I'm gonna grab the PS4 version. I'm gonna get 30 hours in. I'm gonna not be able to have time to finish it, and then I'm gonna grab it again when it comes out on Switch. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's what I'm signing up for. And dis uh, yeah, this guy I won complete. Which yeah. I'm gonna grab. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. In the thread of that, I've seen hopefully, the crowd. Hopefully, the I'm dream. hoping that will cure yep. my Disgaea 5 heartbreak. He arrives just in time. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Need to double check my lyrics, I think I've got these mostly down. I can see why I usually forget the outro to the second verse because it's hey there, there goes the Spider-Man. <laughs> not not great. In the chain of man, at the scene of a crowd, like a stream coming, he arrives just in time. Spider-Man. Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Well, then he's ignored. But action is his reward. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. To him, life is a great big bang. Where everything's a hang. You'll find Spider-Man. Become the Spider-Man. I'm just thinking about uh, early Metal Gear boss names. Big fan of Metal Gear 2's original naming scheme, which was just like all Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, <laughs> where they could help it anyway. <laughs> You're getting pretty blatant when you've named one Running Man the other Predator. <laughs> Again, I, can't remember. Oh. I was going to say, enough talking people, move this landslide out of the way so I can go smashy smashy some more things. I can't remember if it was Metal Gear 1 or 2 that has Coward Duck in it. Coward the Duck? No, just Coward Duck. Mm, that's a missed opportunity. I'm still really disappointed that they threw out a... Uh, so there's there's a boss in Metal Gear 2 uh, in the localization that all the recent games use. Uh, its name is The Four Horsemen. Cause it's, it's four dudes hanging out in an elevator. Yeah. In the localization that was used in, like, European languages when they briefly localized the MSX version, it was somehow named Ultrabox. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's just, something. Just, just a beautiful, terrible name. Also, Coward Duck seems to have been a Metal Gear 1 villain. Hmm. It's list of characters. The Zanzibar Land mercenaries serve as boss characters in this game. They are... Black Ninja, also known as Black Color. Running Man, Red Blaster, Four Horsemen, also known as Ultra Box. Jungle Evil, also known as Predator. Night Fright, also known as Night Sight. Gray Fox, and Big Boss. Hmm. Night Fright's also a good name. Jungle Evil is also a good name, even if I prefer Predator.
to catch this master fish. The ultra fish. Ultra fish. Fish. There you go, there's a Mega Man X boss name. Ultra fish. Mm, I feel like it would mangle the word fish in some fashion. Ultra fish and goobin. I don't know. Uh, 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 Ultra yeah. Fischenheimer? These are getting weirdly, like, German. <laughs> it's always fun to compare Mega Man X bosses to Metal Gear villains. <laughs> Storm Eagle is totally a Metal Gear villain, too. You don't know. You don't know whether I'm lying or not. <laughs> also appreciate the point in Mega Man X5 script where Squid Adler complains about the fact that you killed his friend Launch Octopus. <laughs> Just imagining, like, well, we're both robots of like, you know, the undersea things with the too many arms, so. I mean, we might as well be friends. <laughs> Come on, you stupid fish. Take no. my bait. No. Please? No. Pretty please? No. Okay, well that's... Yeah, that appears to be about right. Should be playing Terror of the Deep, Final Fantasy XV. Oh boy. Is that is that the VR thing? That's the VR thing that's also a fishing game. Sweet. I love that they did that, that's very important. Show that flower his boss. I certainly should. <laughs> oh god. Oh no, get out of the yuck yuck slow water. I'm gonna drown. Oh god. Okay. Apparently I go can't go that way. Oh! 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 Um... Oh, F-word. Oh! Uh, oh, sweet mother of God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're fine. No. Everything's fine. No, nothing is fine. That, that's a freaking dinosaur. It's all, it's all fine. How is it fine? <laughs> if, you, if you can't beat up a dinosaur, you don't deserve to wander it's the lost world. It's level 42! Yes, and? I'M LEVEL 14! What a coward. There's three of you. <laughs> oh, Let's okay, put this another way. If you put your levels together, you're level 42. I don't think it works that way. I feel like that's exactly how it works. I, I, uh, I don't think so. Oh god. Oh god. 
Oh god. Maybe it would work if you weren't such a coward. Kelly says you can't kill them until much later. I trust her word over yours. <laughs> I can't believe that you would throw me <laughs> under the bus like this. I, I'm pretty sure you just want to see me die in comedic fashion. I mean, always. <laughs> I exist to always be the worst advice on your shoulder. I was gonna say, did you put up the most recent episode? Yes, I did. Hooray. Gotta start uh, collecting questions. Alright, I'm gonna go back and try and fight it. We're doing this. Except it's probably not here anymore. Oh, no big scary dinosaur! Oh yeah, there it is. All right. Oh! 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 Did you just decide to see what happens if you fight it? Oh yeah, you'll see on stream in a second. Yeah, no, I'm seeing you fight it. I just was wondering why you try- oh. <laughs> you have to get an upgrade to kill ancient ones or whatever they're called in this. Look, its life bar has gone down a bit. I can do this. I would imagine okay, that no even much. if you got its life bar down to zero, it still wouldn't die. <laughs> this is a tough boy. Alright, let's go fight some things that can actually deal damage. Oh, someone else enters the stream. But their name is in a fluorescent green on my screen, and I cannot read it. <laughs> this is the life I've chosen. In conclusion, Twitch, stop, stop displaying names in that fluorescent green. It's hard to read. It doesn't read well against the gray. What is this Call of Duty? Yeah, sure. That's right, it's uh... You're the soldier man. You switch between characters to switch between nations. This is totally Blops 4. Finally. He's playing it against many other people. Wheels, did you ever join the Nintendo Fun Club? Um, no. I had Nintendo Power. Does that count? That was the that was the successor to the Fun Club. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think I joined until it was actually Nintendo Power. Join the Nintendo Fun Club today, Mac. I did not listen to him. <laughs> I want to get give that advice to a boxer one day. Mm -hmm. This one of them, Legend of Final Fantasy Star Games. Funny. Wait, Nintendo Power offered Nintendo Power offered the Zelda GameCube collection disc. I think so. Just a moment. 
Wait, the snuff thing. I'm used to muting Discord. Do 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 do. Hate freaking spam robocalls. Oh, they're the best. By which I mean the worst. Uh, I never saw that subscription incentive. Uh, R.I.P. Oh well, I had I had those games. It was fine. Everything was fine. Did they bring back Nintendo Power as a podcast? I believe they did. I think I subscribed to it in my uh, podcast player, but haven't listened to it yet. Rip. It seems to be semi-irregular, but it seems to still exist. Too busy listening to Laser Time podcasts and video game yeah. apocalypse. I mean, um, RPG cast, of course. Gotta, gotta stay on brand. Hashtag brand. Too busy listening to the podcast I am on repeatedly to boost my brand. <laughs> I certainly do not listen to that Q&A quest garbage. I don't listen to it while I'm recording it. <laughs> Why do you think I'm capable of interrupting basically everyone? <laughs> uh, Kelly is a Laser Time fan as well, and I'm pretty sure I've heard her on video on like audio responses to Video Game Apocalypse before without even realizing it, which is hilarious. Oops. RPG laser time crossover, uh, yes. Yes, please, Kelly. I, I approve Someone of this Someone wants to try to work out how to make that happen, you go ahead. Yes. Keeping a cat in the video response is an important branding opportunity as well as a good chance for me to see more cats, so good choice. <laughs> I really need to stop humming the walls and ground up things. Uh, also, in case anyone is wondering this, watching this, I don't think like the lagginess you're seeing here is actually from the game at all. I think it's just the Elgato. Because I've not seen anything like that actually playing the game on its own. Hmm. That guy, I'm actually using... I'm actually using the... Uh, which we call it the extreme window to play the game. I don't. The switch isn't actually plugged into my TV or anything at the moment. Kelly, how many cats do you have, out of curiosity? And why is it not enough? <laughs> There's no such thing as enough cats. That's true. The more cats you have, the more opportunity you have to make ridiculous cat puns. Wow. 
Also, the chance to pet cats. That too. <sighs> Wheels, come visit me when we go to when I go to Pax Prime. We can do that Fly across the country for that. Yeah, that's the that's the difficult part. I know. The plane thing. Five cats. Nice. Nice. It's a good number. Yes, I need to visit the West Coast at some point because I would like to also visit my hockey team. What? <laughs> yes, Vancouver Which Canucks. Hockey? Oh, so you briefly step into Seattle and then go across the border? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, well, some people are like that. How did you end up with that as your hockey team exactly? Uh, do you really want to know? <laughs> yes. Well. <laughs> I mean, my hockey team was originally the Hartford Whalers. They no longer uh. exist. And so it's like, do you want to, do you want to root for one of their former regional rivals? It's like, uh, no. So I never. Wa so one year I watched like a, just started watching a random like playoff game just because it was the start of the playoffs. I think this was the like a year or two after they had locked out for a year. So I kind of wanted to throw them some, throw them a ratings bone, I guess. <laughs> And You're in the Elson household. Probably not, but whatever. Uh, and the game went four overtimes. Wow. And was about a minute and a half away from the final overtime. So, And it was the Canucks and the Dallas Stars, and I'm like, ah, I'm not going to root for a team from Texas for other reasons. Solid. Man, I'm just involving <laughs> involving uh, NFLs, but whatever. So it's like, yeah, I'll root for the Canucks, and I followed them for the rest of the playoffs after that madness, and just kept going. It just reminds me of I'm thinking uh, <laughs> of my favorite. Whenever I think about uh, blowing overtimes, I think of one of my favorite uh, articles involving any video game ever. Uh, NBA Y2K. <laughs> I'm not sure. I've, I've definitely told you about this. I'm not sure if you remember what this is. I do not. So NBA Y2K is uh, like there's a, there's a broader series of articles here about just like sports games, but it's it's written by John Boyce and for SB Nation, and it's like he took one of the NBA 2K games and he made the worst possible players, <laughs> like the like. An entire draft roster of impossibly bad players. Huh. Like, they are all as short as the game will let them be, and they all have zero stats in everything. <laughs> and just saved that as the draft file every year until the game had no choice but to use them. <laughs> and it's amazing. And it leads to, like, these videos of just, like... Here's a game simming a game between two uh, two AIs playing nothing but these players, and they're at 12 overtimes, and someone finally wins with two points. Zero. <laughs> oh my god. It's really good. That's amazing. It produces some other strange results. Uh, there's characters that are, there's one, at one point, like, one basketball player is labeled, like, fed up, and the reason they're labeled fed up is that they're being paid literally zero dollars. <laughs> Because the game has determined that logically they have zero in every stat and they're terrible, so logically they should have a paycheck of nothing. <laughs> it's really oh, good. Oh my god. That's hilarious. <laughs> Let's see, okay, I found this segment. In Miami, Bob Jiggity's morale has, has, is listed as fed up. At the bottom, we see why he's probably fed up. He isn't getting paid. He has no skills, so the game understandably decides he deserves no money. <laughs> <laughs> the unfortunate plight of Bob Jiggity is such that he can't not be in the NBA. He can't go be a doctor or a plumber. In the year 2023, NBA rosters are like physical vacuums. There aren't enough normal players to fill the void in the roster, so the doomsday players get sucked in to fill the absence of space. Sorry, pal. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. But he just keeps simming the game until all actual players are gone. 
Uh, uh. He did something similar the the next year. He just made it so that like he he made impossible supermans and simmed that franchise until like the game why. wouldn't let uh, until it was just over. Like until there was nothing but like these impossible superman players. And that also produced strange results. Like, because all of them were impossibly good, like, they were all as tall as possible and had 99s in every stat. <laughs> but they also, like, they were also all as heavy as possible to make them harder to block, I guess. But that caused the game to, like, some of them somehow grew between being drafted and appearing, even though it's not possible to make a player that large. <laughs> so it's like, oh, all these players are 350 pounds, except this guy who's 400 pounds and also a couple inches taller. Wow. Oh, this sounds incredible. Yeah, definitely go, definitely go look up NBA Y2K if you got some time. Yeah, is it on YouTube? It's not YouTube. It's on a site called SB Nation. I'm gonna just drop the link in there. Okay. Uh, and Kelly also said that uh, one time she had to cat sit her mom's five cats and had ten cats in the house. Oh man. And I disagree. That doesn't sound like pure chaos. That sounds like pure chaos. I was waiting for you to say that. Yeah, well... Yeah. Someone's got to make these cat puns. NBA Y2K series finale, the death of the NBA. <laughs> the death of... It's not the death of the NBA, it's the death of basketball. <laughs> Fire can bring disaster and ruin, but it can also bring light, warmth, and comfort. Perhaps those memories have been etched into the souls of all humanity. <laughs> I requested that you also write me a poem about the eventual fate of the NBA. Over 600 of you were kind enough to weigh in. Hmm? There was no consensus, really, but the most popular answer is it will end with societal collapse. <laughs> Hummel, isn't that the name of a hot dog brand? Oh, I agree, I Kelly. Know. It's it sounds like a meow. meow I can't even say this. Meow catastrophe. Thank you, thank you. That's an awesome word. It is good. I appreciate it. This will be a, de a death of the spirit. I want every single player in the league to be the worst player in the world. <laughs> I want to render the NPA an unwatchable, miserable experience in which the notion of self-respect, good ideas, and effort go to die. These players are designed as pitifully as NBA 2K14 would allow. 5'3", 145 pounds, and awful at every basketball skill. Shooting, passing, rebounding, defense, awareness, everything. <laughs> oh wow, Croatia just took the lead in the footballs. Sorry, England. Can't believe it's dead. Our dream of uh, England versus France in the finale may be over. A note, aside from one egregious flop in the video above, I never once took control of any player. Every video and GIF you see here features only computer-controlled players. I want the NBA to die by its own hand. Now we get one of Adol's weird dreams of the namesake character of this game. My favorite character, Lacrimosa. <sighs> no, the other word. <laughs> of. <laughs> no, the other word. Damn it.
Now, everybody, eat up! Yay, fish soup. Looks like somebody sparked a new skill. Ooh, jumping puzzles. Sweet. I love them. I also gotta get his ability to twirl with his sword again. Yes. Alright, I think I'm gonna end this stream, or, well, not end this stream right this second, but I think I'm gonna play another roguelite as the finale to the stream. That makes sense. So I'm thinking some has been heroes. Oh. I have less to say about this one. <laughs> or maybe Nero Voider. I, I don't know what that is. I gotta, you don't know what Nero Voider is? It's, You're uh, just making games up now. It's a real game! <laughs> I can prove it! Can you? Wrong button. Just took a screenshot for no reason. Just to just to reserve the lovely memories. There you go. I'm just gonna let it hover on that for a second. Okay. Learning all about your Switch collection. Burb, 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 burb. Thought you, thought you uh, deleted your copy of Fortnite. I did, and I redownloaded it, and I don't know. It's the only it's thing I have a problem. It's the only thing I ever see my sister playing on the Switch, so I'm like, I should probably just leave it on on here in case she ever wants to drag me into a game or something. I guess. That's okay. It's thankfully not a big download. No. So if it ever increases in size, it's getting the axe. By then you'll be playing it. I hope not. <laughs> I really, really did not like my brief time with it. I had a fine enough time with what little I played about. At least it's, it's the right price. I'll give it that. Wow. <laughs> wow? Yeesh, the yeesh of fate. Ow. So how you been doing? Well, they haven't spoken in a while. Oh, not too bad. Nice. Relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's looking <laughs> like we should get Kelly onto a Q&A quest at some point. I think. Yeah, I was wondering why you hadn't done that yet. Because I'm the world's worst organizer. 
Well, we'll have to work out, uh... Like, we've got a specific time we usually do things. We'll yeah. work out if that's that fits our schedule. Well, I think Gaijin might be out next week as well, so maybe we can work out a different time. That's fair. If, if need be. I will keep my time open. A big boulder! Hooray! Tired? I've uh, not slept well in like two weeks. No. <laughs> I have not either, actually. I'm sorry. It's alright. Anything? Any reason you feel like going into, or just? No, my daughter's uh, potty training, so she's woken up in the middle of the night a few times. Oh yeah, that'll happen. Yeah. Sorry, man. She, I mean, no, it's fine. She's doing great otherwise, so I can't really complain. That's good. Had like almost no accidents, actually. Oh, that's excellent. Given what you could have been having. <laughs> True. Uh, there was one interesting accident, but I won't recount it. That's probably for the best. <laughs> okay, she pooped on the floor. <laughs> Remember that thing that you said about not recounting it? <laughs> a thing you said like four seconds ago? <laughs> well, it's not like I described the poop in detail or something. You, you say that as though you don't intend to. <laughs> I, no, I do not. Okay, good. In fact, I didn't. I didn't look at it, and then my wife sent me, a, texted me a picture of it. I'm like, "Come on, <laughs> what? Why, why? Why is this the life we've chosen?" <laughs> uh, it's time to play the music. It's time to light the light. It's on the Muppet Show tonight. It's time to put on makeup. It's time to dress up right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I have a deep affinity for Muppets. Mm Primordials, nice. <laughs> you don't choose the poop life, the poop life chooses you. Wow, well, uh... Nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a throb a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm just reading comments from the chat here. No, I'm just saying, like, the phrase poop life is really, really viscerally upsetting. <laughs> Alright, let's roguelike, roguelike it up. Like roguing? Yeah. Let's save this east. Alright, let's see what I got on here. I got Flint Hook, but that's not really RPG enough. <laughs> uh, let's do a Has Been Heroes run. What a Has Been? I haven't played it in a while.
I can definitely hear commentary. <laughs> Just bleeding through the... Sorry. I just it's wanted fun. to hear the, the result of this football match. Who won the footy Uh, Well, it looks looking strongly like it's Croatia. So what's, uh, how does this one work? Uh, well, kind of move your dudes around these different lanes here. Can't believe that this is plants or zombies. Uh, it's kind of is. So you see how, you see how there's little green bars next to, like, the enemy's names here? Meh. So, though, you have to knock those down to be able to damage an enemy. But kind of the trick here is, unless you like knock them down exactly, it doesn't knock the enemy back very far, and mm. you can't really do as much damage as you'd want to. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So you kind of have to s switch your characters around these different lanes, and. Uh, what was I saying? Finally, Plants vs. Zombies mixed with Tales of Rebirth. Kind of. But not really. <laughs> not even a little. Yeah. No one ever did do a translation of Tales of Rebirth, I don't think. No. Uh, shoot. I think someone may have announced it at some stage. I believe you're right. Um. Ah. Last update on this website is from 2013. The last update, specifically, uh, uh, the last update specifically was about the fact that the site no longer worked for a while. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, there it is, Croatia. Down goes England. R.I.P. Uh, yeah, Kelly, when I first saw this game, too, it, it looked kind of mobile-ish-y, mobile, mobile -ish -y, but I, mobile think adjacent. This, I think this game would actually be really, really terrible without a controller, to be quite honest. Also, one of the interesting things about this game is you see, after the character attacks, you obviously you can do these lane switches. Mm -hmm. If if you switch a character into a lane and there are like enemies behind him as he's going backwards, that actually deals damage, which is pretty interesting. Let's see if I can do one. Yeah, here, right here. Doing a great job keeping the stream. Ah! Uh, 
I'm gonna die. That makes sense to me. Okay, no, I chose life. Yeah, that's right. You get out of here, monsters. This is my house. Except it's not your house at all. But whatever. Yay, healing spot. Yay, I'm not gonna die yet. <laughs> oh. I'm just waiting for the train wreck. Well, I have had at least one, s two successful runs, I think. So that's something. I think this wrestler guy was the second character I unlocked. Wrestling is uh, good. Hmm. Don't know if I even want this item here. Yeah, fine. Alright, let's see what boss I get. This will probably determine determine whether this is going to be a horrible failure or not. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh.
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Must recharge faster. Must recharge faster. You've gotta earn recharging faster. This seems like it's really going well for you. Um, it was. Wrecked by bones. Can't believe Beat is fighting you. a horrible mistake. Do, do I ask? Um, no, it's all good. It's all good. Maybe. No, no, I'm dead. Okay. Uh -huh. Rip. There it goes. <laughs> now for the game that you didn't think was a real game. All these games are fake. FYI, this is actually an up to four player co op uh, roguelite. So, how does this, what's the gimmick in this one? Uh, you're like a floating brain and some kind of mech thingy. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess that's the case. That's me. But what about the game? Uh, it's like a uh, twin stick shootery. Huh. So it's the binding of Isaac. Sort of. Also, rad techno themes as required. As you do. 
This is the cyberpunk future. Reminding me, I really need to pick up Enter the Gungeon on Switch. Gun, gun. Excuse me, my name is Gun, gun. Well, this is going very poorly. Well, that was pathetic. <laughs> Alright, let's do the daily run. Accidentally used my heal. Oh wow! Get to live without. And hit an explosive barrel. This is this is going about as well as you'd expect. Somehow it's not dead yet. Should be though. Should Prob be. Probably. Not dead yet, it's just making me think of the last anime I watched, which just had not dead yet as a uh, tagline at the end of every episode. Huh? Good show. I think it's getting a dead. Which show is that? Megalo box. Huh. It is a reimagining of an old anime called Ashtonojo. 
Huh. Um. Hmm. Hmm. You seeing the options I have here to next level, next stage? Guess One black. Good times. Done. Stocked by Vin Diesel. <laughs> Clearly, I have chosen the best weapon. The script just, like, exploded all at once. That's weird. Yeah, I didn't know what to make of that. It just sort of happened. We couldn't stop it. Uh, well, X-Split is smart enough to, like, reduce the game volume when you're connected to Skype, so the game just suddenly got really loud. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be Skype that does that. Skype likes to do that. Oh, uh, yeah, I think you're right. I believe that. I can certainly see a Microsoft program uh, hijacking decisions from you like that. Wow. Okay, maybe this pitch in black was not the best choice. <laughs> But I'm not dead yet. Not dead yet. It's boxing time. If I can get out of this pitch black alive. Alright, where's Vin Diesel when you need him? Uh, busy still trying to get a uh, Zelda knockoff based on his D&D character made. Really? Is that a thing that's that actually a, happening? That was a thing he wanted to happen like 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh. 
I'd buy, I'd play it. I'm not sure anyone else would. It would be for the best if they couldn't. I'm sure Vin Diesel would play it enough for everyone. Yeah, it's true. Has he even been anything in anything recently that doesn't have Fast and or Furious in the title? What's this about Vin Diesel? Has he been in anything other than those movies recently? Oh, recently. I think there was a third Triple X film at some stage. A third one? There was yeah. a second one? Yeah, it didn't star him. It didn't? It didn't. <laughs> it's weird. Okay. Ret Triple X, Return of Xander Cage, is a 2017 American action film. Oh, there, down I go. Vin Diesel couldn't save you now. It is the third film in the Triple X franchise, as functioning as both a sequel to Triple X and Triple X State of the Union. Huh. Oh my god. Ninth on the global rankings for that daily run. Wow, that's not going to last. I, well, I'm going to take a big screenshot of that, obviously. <laughs> We're certainly going to tweet that out. Triple X State of the Union starred Ice Cube, for the record. Okay. It's unexpected. So, you know. Alright, I gotta head off in a few minutes. So that means we're obviously gonna end the stream by just playing Wolfenstein 2. Yeah. As was threatened. <laughs> was it threatened? Promised, perhaps? Yeah, that's probably more accurate. I heard that as Batista. <laughs> he should be their company spokesperson. I hate you, Batista. <laughs> I hate you too. He can be really good when he wants to. When he wants to be frickin' Drax the Destroyer. Yes. He is born for that role. And I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not playing this one on hard, FYA. I can't believe that you would be a coward. This looks like a really good version. Yes, sir. Hang grenades. Oh, God. Now just port the old blood in the new order to switch. Yeah, maybe Fallout 4 while, you know, they're porting things. Is there a particular reason you need Fallout 4? No, I should probably finish Skyrim before I ask for anything else. should probably finish this unending game. Well, you just at least want to go to the baseball city. Oh, Fallout 4, yeah. <laughs> You're correct. <laughs> I 
Alright, you know, this is not really working very well with a little bit of lag. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Can't believe that the Wolfenstein had to be ended. some wizard of legend are you the legendary wizard uh, correct gross What do you get against Wizbiz? What don't I have against it? Um. Okay, fair point. I will fight you. Run away, run away, run away. Oh god, I'm dying in all the games. <laughs> I mean, that's how it always goes. Not always. Okay, mostly, yes. That's how video game works. God, stop trying to kill me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I dashed into lava. Finally. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Finally, you have reached your final form and fate. <laughs> Alright, well, on that note, rip the stream. To anyone listening, if you don't know who we are, we do, Dave and I are part of Q&A Quest. We should check that podcast out if you haven't, along with all the other podcasts on rbgamer.com and everything else <laughs> cool on the site and whatnot. Beloved podcasting groups. Yes, indeed. And, uh, yeah, peace out. See ya.